And that's the last filter we need to replace. Thanks, guys. Happy to help, Graham. Happier to be done. Cody! How'd soccer tryouts go? I didn't make the team. I'm sorry. What was that? I didn't make the team. Oh, bud, that, that's too bad. No, 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 too bad. He just ruined our family legacy. Look at these trophies. Me, Dad, even Graham. We had to build a whole shelf for Danny. Every Burns is a soccer star. Wait, is soccer the one where they run back and forth across the same patch of grass? I think that's called football. Cody, don't feel bad. You're good at lots of other things. But nothing that counts. When he's right, he's right. Ow! What? I said he was right. I want the whole team at the Griffin Rock Fun Zone now. Why, Dad? Need more tokens? Nope. But I could use a mechanical bull spotter. I believe it has spotted us, sir. Insert more tokens to continue the ride. Insert more tokens to continue the ride. Chief, my tactics appear ineffectual. Do not humans advise to grab the bull by the horns? Unfortunately, they don't tell you what to do next. get a visual on the mechanical bull. We need to corral it before it runs too far. Sure, Dad, but just one question. Where did that thing come from? It's an experimental carnival ride from the mainland. That thing's supposed to be fun? Programmed with extras to make staying on the bull's back more challenging, and our job harder. An untested prototype malfunction here. What are the chances? Based on local statistics, I calculate 99.9%. I've ridden tons of mechanical bulls. How bad can this one be? Stand back, partner. I'll rustle this little doggy. Insert more tokens to continue the ride. intelligence. Maybe we can talk it down. I shall attempt to reason. Halt! This area is not zoned for livestock. Or mechanical stock. Ah, I see we share a respect for civil coding. Don't worry, the muscle's here. Looks like you put the tech in sleep mode. Nice work, partner. No problem. After all, I am a bulldozer. <laughs> Dozer. <laughs> Good one. Do you remember when the bots didn't understand Earth humor? I miss those days. 
Cody, can you tell Doc we have something for him? I'll meet you at the lab, Dad. On guard! And... Ha! Consider yourself proved. Hey, Doc. Hope you have room on the Best Left Forgotten shelf. The bots are bringing you a... Wait! Don't tell me. Is it a space-time continuum rupturing toaster? <sighs> a giant mechanical bull. That was my next guess. But I'm afraid this is too big and potentially too dangerous for the BLF. It belongs on the island of Misfit Tech. Wait, the island? You mean it exists? I always thought it was a bedtime story. Oh dear, I seem to have spilled a top secret. Hold on while I get my memory erasing earmuffs. It's okay, Doc. The whole team has maximum security clearance. What's so secret about another island, anyway? This one is the storage center for Griffin Rock's most hazardous experiments. It's in the middle of the ocean, completely impossible to find. Then how can we send tech there? Follow me. Wait, we're carrying this thing the whole way? Are there stairs? Ta-da! Yeah, Doc, there's nothing here. So it seems. But, with a jump to the left... Come on! Dr. Green, your appearance is quite disarming. Okay, that is a little creepy. There's an entire building back here, hidden by the hologram. Just close your eyes and... follow my voice! And gentlemen, may I present the Beam Box? It has a more scientific name, but mine's quite catchy, don't you think? Teleportation through this chamber is the only way to the island of misfit technology. Entanglement based delivery without bio digital cloning? Doc, how'd you build this? I didn't. In fact, I don't know who did. Or even how it works. Good thing my predecessors left me this instruction manual. Oh, yeah. Sounds totally safe. Enough. <laughs> oh. ah. The bulls fail technology. Just destroy it. Ah, but a failure in one category may be a success in another. For example, nobody thought mold on an orange was useful until a scientist discovered it was medicine. Also, a good way to tell when it's time to clean the fridge. Similarly, this machine makes a horrible nose hair trimmer. But on plants, it's perfect. That's why we tag everything we send to the island. If we decide later that getting rid of the tech was a mistake, we can call it back. Which is about as likely as the soccer team changing their mind about Cody. Oh, you, you didn't make the team? Why didn't you tell me, son? Because he's humiliated. Come on, guys, show him a little sensitivity. Ow! Would you quit doing that? Cody, there's no need to be ashamed. Soccer's not the only sport out there. It's the only one that matters. Should those optics be glowing? Hmm. It seems one of the bull's internal systems is restarting. I'm on it. <laughs> Beginning to think this guy doesn't like me. Not you, your color. Bulls hate the color red. That's only a myth. Somebody better tell the bull. Or whoever programmed it. <laughs> now I see why they don't let those things in China shops. Quickly! Get the bull inside before it damages any machinery. Oh, man, my comlink! Come back! 
Scrap Master Beta online. Wow, an early version of the Scrap Master. But why would a trash compactor be sent here? Refuse marked for destruction. Because it can't tell the difference between trash and me! Refuse marked for destruction. Reverse that thing! Bring Cody back! I can't! Cody doesn't have a recall tag. Only the bull does. So bring back the bull! That won't help unless Cody is still touching it. For Cody's sake, I hope he's not. That bull is dangerous. Our best bet is to send someone with a new tag to find Cody. And that someone is me. I don't know, Heatwave. On TV, the guy wearing your color never comes back from these missions. It is true that the bull does not seem fond of your red exterior. I'm not going there for a bullfight. I'm rescuing Cody. Yeah, we got this. Heat wave transform. I don't think so. Cody will be a lot happier to see me than you. What? What, because of the soccer thing? I was joking. We're wasting time arguing. Heat wave, if you're ready. I'll beam you and Cody back exactly one minute from now. We'll miss you! Back off, you tech reject. Cody. Cody, do you copy? Cody, where are you? Cody! Cody! Uh, Doc? You were supposed to beam a bot back. That's the Scrap Master. A prototype we banished because it was too dangerous. Refuse marked for destruction. To humans. <laughs> Let's see how it feels about me. Refuse marked for destruction. I order you to cease and desist all demolition activities. Refuse marked for destruction. Now you're just flouting authority. Oh, come on, you glorified trash can! Pick on someone your own size! Keeping in mind, I'm much smaller than you! <laughs> Refuse marked for destruction. Let him go! Oh, that was my only tie. All right, everyone out. But Dad, what about Cody? We can't help him if we're all reduced to scrap. We need to regroup. Well, lock that hunk of junk inside. No way it's coming after us. Well, perhaps not. But now that menace is trapped inside with some very sensitive machinery. And we have no way to get Heatwave and Cody back. Don't worry. I have a plan. Why am I not reassured? I think I lost that thing. Ah! Ew! Ah! Seriously? They couldn't turn these things off before sending them to the secret island? I mean, take the batteries out or whatever. It's not complicated. Cody! Where are you? Doc is beaming us back any second. Oh, no. My tag. Hey! No! Oh, hey! Have I mentioned... No! Oh, oh. I don't like uh, human sporting events! Ha! Serves you right. Still hungry? How about thirsty? Ah. This could take a lot of water. So, what do you think? I don't like it. The Scrap Master took down Heat Wave, and you want to go back in there? I'm the only one that thing hasn't marked for destruction. I'll slip by without it noticing. We can help run interference. Ensuring the Cade reaches the bean box safely. Any better ideas, Doc? Nothing that won't take weeks in nuclear fusion. 
All right, bots, let's move. Refuse marked for destruction. See, this is the part I wasn't really on board with. Just keep old Scrappy away from the beam box. Ah! Deploy phase two of the plan. Rapidly. Refuse marked for destruction. Listen, purple software upgrade. I am not a tree. Oh well, worth a try. Everybody's here. Whoa! Wow, that was actually helpful. Programmed to like blue as much as you hate red. Noble. Bring me back in ten minutes! Cody? He wave! Security! 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 Hey, you stop! Leave me alone! Security! 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 Cody! Heatwave! Come in! Cade! Is that you? Is Heatwave here too? I'm here! Great! But where is here? Security! I'm walking away from a cliff with lots of trees! I'm in some kind of dry gulch! That... doesn't really help! Why couldn't Doc give me a map? Heatwave, I see you! Cody, stay back. I'm on empty and these things are dangerous. What in the all spark? You'll thank me later. about the new paint job, but the bull's big on blue. And rough on red. Well, this is better than buffing out hoof dance. It does come off, right? A little help! Security! Security! Wow, Chase would love those guys. Don't worry, Kate. The bull will save you. You mean the bull that started this mess in the first place? Doesn't seem too interested in yellow droids. They don't have to stay yellow. Whoops. Guess that's why this thing's misfit tech. Heatwave, short out the droid's power switches! Can't. I'm still synthesizing water. Maybe I can help. No way! Nice throw, Cody! Strike three and they're out! Bro! Soccer is definitely not your sport. But I think I know what is. But what about the family legacy? Ah, so we start a new one. At least this way, I don't have to worry about you breaking any of my soccer records. Hate to interrupt family time, but there's still the matter of getting back to Griffin Rock. Not a problem. It's been almost ten minutes. As long as the three of us are touching, Chase should bring us back any second. Of course, we do have a berserk scrap master waiting for us. What? That's where my tag went. Maybe we should bring backup. Has it been ten minutes yet? Uh, uh, Blades, summon chief! Way ahead of you, partner. It was getting pretty noisy in here. We figured you might need some help. There's a reason rescue bots come in sets of four. Hey, trash eater, how about a junk food snack? <laughs> K, 
Kincaid, where's Cody? And Heatwave. Why did you bring the bull back? Just keep the bean box open, Doc. Cade, it's paint time. Step away from the scrap master. The Scrap Master is Scrap! Good work, team. Indeed. All that remains is to send the bull and that paint cannon back to the island. Do we have to? Oh, come on, Cody. You can't seriously want to keep them here. But they saved us. It doesn't matter that they're not great at what they were made for. Yeah, it's like Cody and soccer. That easy. All I'm saying is, just because you're a disaster in one sport doesn't mean you're bad at all of them. Remember me and gymnastics? <laughs> Hey, I don't like leotards, okay? Maybe it's the same thing for this tech. Now that we know what they are good at, they deserve another chance. All right, we'll give them a try. Thanks, Cade. Hey, you can thank me by grabbing your glove and meeting me at the field for practice. We want you ready for baseball tryouts. Deal? Deal. I'll do the rescue! Bored. Boredom. Boring. Ooh, I know. We'll fill up your tanks with shellac. Yeah, a little spray action. We'll be done in no time. Have this stuff gum up my pipes? Forget it. I know it's a dreary chore, son, but it has to be done. Boats don't take care of themselves. Hmm. Maybe we can invent one that does. What's that? That animal is trespassing on city property. How on earth did he get up there? Oh, the poor little guy's stuck. He looks so scared. I'll jump over and get him. Wait, look! Tide's coming in. The next wave will be high enough to hit him. A routine patrol with four Somebody made a friend. And here comes the question in three, two, one. Can I keep him, Dad? We have to look for the owner first, Cody. Won't be easy. Looks like he lost his tags. He doesn't look familiar. Oh, right. You know every dog in town. From up there, Blades and I can see everything. Like last Thursday night, when you and Haley went to the drive-in. <laughs> okay, yeah, this dog doesn't look familiar. The Griffin Rock Dog Show's in a few days. Maybe somebody brought him into town for that. Good idea. I'll check into it. I take good care of him, Dad. I'd feed him and walk him. I don't doubt that, Cody, but let's do our best to find the owner and then take it from there, okay? <laughs> Cute little fellow, though, isn't he? Now, what are we gonna call you, boy? 
The most popular names for boy dogs are Max and Buddy. Where'd you get that? The internet. So it must be true. I think it's a really cool name. Something awesome. Something noble. That's it! From now on, you're noble. Oh dear, that appears to have provoked a reaction in his rear appendage. Dogs wag their tails when they're happy, Chase. It must mean he likes his new name. Now that you have a dog, what do you do with it? You pet him. Take him for walks. Teach him tricks. Noble, come here, boy. Lie down. Uh, speak, boy. Impressive. Aw, uh, he's just had a rough day. <laughs> Haven't you? Yes, you have. <laughs> Well, son, I checked the dog show. No one who entered is missing a pet, so I made up a dozen of these to put around town. Found this dog. If he belongs to you, please contact Chief Charlie Burns at the Griffin Rock Firehouse. I'll help you take him around, Dad. You guys don't mind watching Noble, do you? Noble? <laughs> Just don't go getting too attached to him, son. His owner's bound to turn up eventually. I know a trick I bet he can do. Sit, boy. Good dog. Now watch this one. Stay. Look at that. See how smart he is? I'll never understand why humans want pets anyway. They don't seem very useful. May I remind you, Heatwave, you once said the same thing about infants. Ugh. Wait, you mean Noble's supposed to be wearing a diaper? In that area, this canine manual suggests something called Newspaper training. So we teach him to read? Found this dog. Found this dog. Showtime! If he belongs to you, please contact you. Good boy! Oh, hey, Cody! Watch what my boys learned for the dog show. Aristotle, Edison, showtime! Good boys! That's their trigger word. Whenever I say it, they know to do a trick. Can I try? Showtime! <laughs> I don't think Noble could ever learn anything like that. Who's Noble? Besides me, of course. That's what I'm calling the dog we found. He's not too good at tricks. Well, that doesn't mean you can't enter him in the show. It'll be a blast. And you can watch us win the blue ribbon. Showtime! <laughs> Thank you, and welcome to the 39th Annual Griffin Rock Dog Show. As we do every year, we'll kick things off Ooh, looks like they've already started. Better get up there, son. I don't think Sit and Stay are gonna win this for us, boy. But we'll have fun anyway. And I'm proud of you for trying. Hey, is it over? Did we win? What are you all doing here? We wanted to be here to root for Noble. And so did the bots. Our presence also ensures the event's safety. <laughs> All right. Just be on good robot behavior. Blades. What? Why me? I never... Affirmative. Thanks for coming, guys. And now, let's meet our contestants. The mayor's wife, Mrs. Lusky, with Poopsie. Francine Green with her dogs, Aristotle and Edison. Priscilla Pinch with her state-of-the-art robo-dog, Wi Fido. Cute. And Mrs. Niederlander and her cat? Mr. Petty Paws? A cat in a dog show seems a blatant violation of the rules. You want to tell her? <laughs> Point taken. And doesn't Mr. Petty Paws look nice today? And it looks like we have a late entry, Cody Burns. And his dog, Noble. All right, pooches, let's see what you have. Showtime! <laughs> Why Fido has several settings. Puppy. Bark, bark. Show dog. Guard dog. Lie down. 
it, boy. Good. I taught him that. And now, Mrs. Niederlander and her cat, Mr. Pettipaws, will perform their famous jump through fire trick. I'm uh, not sure which of them does the actual jumping, but, um. <laughs> Don't panic, folks. Robots, open those side flaps. Come on, Mrs. Niederlander. I think that's everybody, Dad. Where's Frankie? Poopsie! She's still inside! Someone rescue my Poopsie! deserves a medal, and I'll make sure my husband gives him one. Fire has been extinguished. Not bad. For a mutt. How much do you want for him? Sorry, Priscilla. He's not for sale. Huh. Why can't you do things like that? Guess you can't reprogram an old dog with new tricks. <laughs> right? We need to secure this area, folks. Everybody head on home. All right, All right. That's 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 I don't get it. Noble can't do tricks, but out of nowhere, he makes that amazing rescue. <laughs> wow! Oh, oh, that? Look at that. That's amazing. This dog is just weird. No, it's a trigger word. Frankie uses showtime for her dogs. Noble's trigger word must be... Rescue! <laughs> Oh, oh, good boy. So cool. That's awesome. So Noble's been trained as a rescue dog? <laughs> Sweet. He could join our team. While retrieving dead organic matter is impressive, one wonders whether Noble could perform admirably in the field. Are you kidding? Didn't you see how he saved that little rat dog? This guy knew exactly what he was doing, didn't you, boy? <laughs> I think I understand now why humans might want you around. <laughs> Stop. Noble, rescue! Day's work, boy. You sure earned this. Good idea. No work, no food. Cade. Hey, I put in a full day. I took care of that thing and then that other one. Well, Noble's been a great addition to the team, all right. I don't know how we ever got along without him. Uh, maybe he could be a permanent addition? Don't know why not, son. There's still no sign of his owner, and you've proven you can take care of him. Oh, did you hear that, boy? <laughs> Emergency response. Parking brake went out on a semi. It's headed downtown without its driver. Let's move, team.
Rescue bots and rescue dog. Roll to the rescue! <laughs> Let's close off the streets behind us. Clear everybody out. Heat wave. Clear the sidewalks, everybody. Power up and energize. Aim for the front axle. Adjusting for acceleration, wind speed, downhill angle. Fire in five, four, three, two, now. That'll work. Right? Um, Cody, you might want to see this. It's a paper from the mainland. Hey, it's a picture of Noble. Yeah, uh, only it, it looks like his real name is Buster. Lost at sea while making a water rescue on the way to the mainland. Buster is owned by Captain Duncan of the Coast City Fire Department. Well, that explains how he got washed up in that culvert. So he's a fire dog. Huh. Should've known. Hooray! We found Noble's owner! I mean... Oh no! We found Noble's owner! I better go tell my dad. Poor Cody. He has become very fond of Noble. We all have. Hey, where is Noble anyway? Noble? Noble? Hey, hey, where, are you, where are you, boy? What's going on? Cody, Noble's missing. Puppy! Dog, Noble! Dog! Here, puppy! Come on, Dog. Noble! Where are you, boy? Noble! I thought for sure he'd head back home. Why would he just run off? I thought he liked us. He wouldn't. And he does. Somebody must have taken him. Priscilla! She's used to getting what she wants. She probably figured if she couldn't buy Noble, she'd just take him. I hate to accuse anyone without proof, son. We can at least go ask her if she's seen Noble, Dad. You're right. And if she hasn't, we scratch her off the list and keep looking. And I think I know where we can find her. Is this on? Oh, whoa! Oh, oh. All right. Uh, we've received word that Mrs. Madeline Pinch is delayed on the mainland. So her daughter, Priscilla, will represent her as we dedicate the Phase One completion of Pinch Square, the newest addition to our town's commercial enterprises, and to join in the groundbreaking for Phase Two. Wow. We'll have to talk to her later, Cody. Over there! That's Noble! That's my dog! How can he be your dog when he's in my limo? Y is there a problem, Chief? I hope it's just a misunderstanding, Mayor. Because dog napping is a pretty serious offense. A misdemeanor under Civil Code 147.02. I found that dog running loose. If you can't keep him under control, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'll let him out, Dad. Priscilla, I think you'd better call off that barking bot. All right. But he's just protecting family property. It, it won't move. It's broken. Ugh. All right, then. Rescue bots, protect my family property. Bark. Bark, 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 bark. This way, folks. Noble, I'm glad to see you too. Yeah. 
Please, Bot, please escort Ms. Pinch to safety. Thank you. <laughs> Some dog you are. I'm gonna have my mother buy the company that made you and put it out of business. Goodbye, Noble. I mean, Buster. You're the best dog anybody could have. We'll miss you. Proud to serve with you, Buster. May all your chew toys be satisfying. Buster, sit! <laughs> Good dog. Go, boy. <laughs> if I had a tail, it would not be wagging. You'll find your own dog someday, Cody. And we'll help you train it. Just as long as there are no diapers involved. I'll do the rescue! Take your temperature, cause Griffin Rock has dolphin fever! Hello, everyone. I'm Huxley Prescott, and this is opening day of the Dolphin Wonder Festival. Sir, I had no idea Griffin Rock possessed this many licensed drivers. A lot of visitors, Chase. They come over on the ferry. First day of the festival is always like this. I must admit, I failed to see the appeal of watching identical sea mammals swim past the island. I just hope it turns out better than last year. Hardly any dolphins showed up. <laughs> the mayor resorted to wearing a dolphin suit to keep the tourists from leaving. He made little kids cry. We're now here at the marina, where I spy with my little eye a glint of sunlight, a clump of seaweed, or maybe the first dolphin of the festival.
Team alert! Pier 3 is collapsing with people on it. Leaving now. On our way. Copy that. Chase, time to stretch your legs. Gladly, sir. Whoa, whoa, hit the skids! Uh, just close your eyes. and rescue robots, only here in Griffin Rock. I'm Huxley Prescott. More cars. I really shouldn't be leaving. Oh, go have fun, Dad. We'll be fine. We can take care of ourselves. Please stay! The last time Cade was in charge, he made us wax the garage floor. Nothing wrong with seeing your reflection when you look down. Well, my reflection. Don't worry, Chief. We can handle anything the festival or Cade can throw at us. I only wish I could accompany you to the Peace Officers Conference. It sounds most informative. Yeah, but always way too long. Nevertheless, please take copious notes. Kids, since Doc and Frankie are out of town, I've asked someone to keep an eye on things. That's code for babysitter, isn't it? Oh, believe me, he's no babysitter. Hello, family of heroes. Uncle Woodrow. Welcome back. I thought you were on safari. Wait, is this Grandpa's old convertible? <laughs> the old jalopy itself. He had some fun joyriding around in this old tuna boat, didn't we, Charlie? Uh, best car ever. Indeed. And how are my favorite humans and aliens? Excellent. Uh, 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 eh? A little louder. The rest of the island didn't hear you. What? You're still keeping that a secret around here? Yes, and so are you. Oh, gotcha. But hey, Cybertronians, let's chat later, huh? I want to hear more about your world and your culture. We'd love to. The festival will be keeping everyone plenty occupied. And I expect Cody and I will be running the joint, right? <laughs> Woodrow, we talked about this. <laughs> Just kidding, Charlie. I won't participate in the rescues. Hey, I'm not official. Did you bring us any cool gifts, Uncle Woodrow? From my safari? Dry roasted beetles. You can't eat just one. I'll take your word for it. Well, that's my cue. I'll see you all next week. Bye, Dad. We'll be fine, we'll Charlie. Miss you. Have fun, Dad. Since I can't be seen without a driver, I will be walking home. Care to join me, Cody? Nah, little Chief is cruising in old school with his uncle, right? You bet. See you at home, Chase. Of course. Enjoy the jalopy ride. <laughs> This is Chase's spot. Ah, he won't mind. Besides, I need to get into the kitchen. I have big plans for dinner. Cool. What you fixing? Baked hackalooey. A little recipe I picked up in the Calliope rainforest. What's in it? A cornucopia of ingredients. But since you didn't have any eggs from the wampoo fruit dove, I had to improvise. Yeah, <laughs> smells like feet. Graham's feet. Tastes pretty good. Got a kick oh, to it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Told you those roasted beetles were yummy. You're dripping oil, aren't you? This ought to be far enough. Now, let's get this over with. 
I have serious doubts these beacons will attract dolphins to the island, sir. The ad said they emit the whooshing sound of a swimming squid. Dolphins like squid. What could go wrong? You bought them at a flea market, Mayor. With a coupon. Look, it's this or you're wearing that dolphin costume. Um, let's check the directions. <laughs> check the directions. No need. The beacons are water activated. Yeah, with dolphins chasing these little wonders around the island, tourists will be here all week. <laughs> it says here to release one every 50 feet to avoid interference with boat operations. Time is of the essence, Mr. Alper. Come on. to ride to school, Uncle Woodrow. Most of the time, I just take my hoverboard. No trouble at all, little chief. Gives me a chance to drive Chase. How you doing anyway, Chase? Fine, sir. Exactly how long will you and your car be in town? Emergency dispatch. Help! My yacht is on a collision course with the South Shore! <gasps> We're coming, Mr. Mayor. Team, the mayor's yacht is about to crash into the beach. We have to respond, Uncle Woodrow. Hot dog! I'm on a rescue! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Attention, please evacuate the beach immediately. Go, go! Hurry! Go, go, go! My balloon! It's moving way too fast! It looks like the yacht is gonna hit before you guys get here. Danny, listen. Remember the game you used to play with your dolls and toy boats down by the creek? Yeah, why bring that up? Blades can be the ramp. Be, be the, the what? what? Be the what? I think it'll work, Danny. Hurry. Oh, boy. What? Oh, boy. You know I don't like oh, boys. Drop into the surf blades and convert to bot mode. Oh. Now, fall forward and prop yourself up. Oh, boy. All the hair-brained ideas. Hey, it worked. Here's... Someone is getting a medal for this. It's a water beacon, all right. Advertised as a dolphin lure. I wonder if the mayor was dropping those in the ocean. Wouldn't put it past him. Doesn't seem right making dolphins go where they don't want to. <laughs> and according to our own emergency responders, credit for this morning's Daring rescue belongs to Woodrow Burns. Good job, Uncle Woodrow. Yeah, yeah, no more. <laughs> Therefore, until the return of Chief Burns, I am naming Woodrow temporary acting chief of Griffin Rock. I love Uncle Woodrow, but there's no way he's telling us how to do our jobs. Chief Woodrow, your reaction. <laughs> I'm speechless. Mayor, how about a few words? Though I am reminded of the time I was made honorary tribal leader for the tree people of Tatui. I was then expected to jump into an active volcano as a sacrifice to the lava gods. Whoa! I guess Uncle Woodrow is now official. Chase, I'm ready. Uh, ready for what, sir? Ooh, what does Charlie usually do? The chief can often be found working in the command center. Typically not wearing someone else's clothing. Danny, 
Some dolphin balloons are tangled in the wind turbines and... You know, Danny, once when trying to get coconuts from a tall tree, I used a high-powered crossbow and... Uh, thanks, Uncle Woodrow. We'll just climb up. Kate, reports of a grease fire in one of the festival food trucks. Whoa! Can't put water on a grease fire, Cade. Graham, get Boulder to bury the entire food truck with sand. What? We're equipped to handle grease fires, Unc. Thanks, though. <coughs> Uncle Woodrow, maybe you... Allow me. Emergency dispatch. What? Don't worry, I'll be right there. Take over, Cody. Chase and I are needed. A man's been trapped in a tree for over three hours. Poor Mr. Pennypaws. <laughs> but Uncle Woodrow... He's not a... he belongs to... I guess you'll figure it out. Clear. No breakfast. Oh, darn. I was looking forward to Uncle Woodrow's fried lizard tail omelets. I wonder where he is. Probably dabbing antiseptic on all the cat scratches he got from Mr. Pettypaws. <laughs> 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 oh, come on, guys. Un Uncle Woodrow, w w we didn't mean that... No, it's okay, kids. I, I know I get carried away. I guess... It just felt good being a part of this family. And don't worry, I'll stay out of the rescues. Well, nice one, guys. What? You're, You're the one who... Paid. Rescue team, we have an outright dolphin disaster on our hands. How can we have a festival of our main attractions are stranded upriver in the wetlands? Those dolphins won't survive like that much longer. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Uncle Woodrow, come on! No, I promise to stay out of the way. Kay, Danny, and Graham were just goofing around. I'll be fine, Cody. But Chase needs a driver, right, Chase? That is correct, unless I want to walk, which I do not. <laughs> if you insist. Rescue bot, roll to the rescue! Uh, only Heat Wave says that. Oh, sorry. For some reason, the dolphin swam upriver here, then doubled back down into the wetlands here. I don't get it. Why can't they just swim back out? I imagine they're scared and confused. That, I get. More beacons. They must have made a wrong turn and ended up here. And the dolphins followed them. Such beautiful creatures. We have to do something. We will. Better hurry. Dolphins can easily overheat out of the water. We'll grab those beacons. Bots, carry the dolphins over that berm to the river. The current will take them back out to sea. Got it. Let's move. Sorry about all this, fella. these dolphins free before we run out of time. Like we have other options. I do have an idea. Uh, no offense, Unc, but... We need to do something. Uncle Woodrow, what do you have in mind? Well, if we can raise the water level, I think I can convince the dolphins to leap back into the river on their own. 
convince the dolphins? Yeah, I used to communicate with the species quite a lot while exploring the Marshall Islands. Well, even if you could, Uncle Woodrow, how would we raise the water? Good news is, the wetlands are drained by only two outlets. And all we'd have to do is block those up, right? I say it's worth a try. All right, let's do it. I would like to see a certain convertible jalopy do that. Heat wave? Bullhorn, please. This I gotta see. I'm a little rusty, but here goes. Come on, swim Just this way! Jump on over, Dolphin! You can do it! The dams are failing. Ugh. Why isn't this working? I should have known better. Wait, Uncle Woodrow, you said you talked to the dolphins in the Marshall Islands. That's in the Pacific Ocean. Don't they have different dolphins there? Yes! I'm speaking Pacific white-sided dolphin, not Atlantic. <laughs> They're actually listening to him. I want to speak dolphin. Woodrow, don't ever think you're not part of this family. Only a Burns could pull something like that off. Now I see why people come out here to watch him. I want a dolphin. Well, maybe just one of those balloons? <laughs> the festival is saved! Take it, Mr. Alper, you can change now. Mmm, homemade pizza. The perfect welcome home feast. Thanks for fixing it, Woodrow. I love cooking for my family. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> no hint mm. of feet at all. I realize my culinary choices are kind of unusual. Once you get past first impressions, they're not so bad, are they? <laughs> Maybe kind of like me. That's my brother, an acquired taste. Mmm, this really is good. And some people don't think bat milk cheese is very tasty. <laughs> Kidding! Ever try milking a bat? They're very moody. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really bat milk cheese, is it? Yeah. Although I will have to clean up your oil spot, you have safeguarded your humans. For that, you have my respect. Take care of everyone, little chief. Bye, Uncle Woodrow. Thanks again. So long, huh? Safe travels. Send a postcard. Mm -hmm.